It's here, Dylan. Well, Dylan, Lawn Hub, people of the world. Our bucketing machine's here. So this machine that is currently coming off the truck is our automated bucketing system, software, whatever you want to call it. It'll essentially take a bucket, go down the production line and you'll have a completed bucket of Trojan, got laid, premature, bush, mini pill, you name it. It's been a long time. At the moment, Jesse, if he works flat stick from 7 to 3.30, he can do a thousand buckets. That's working flat stick. This is supposed to, I think it's supposed to triple or quadruple production. And I suppose the thing that will take the longest is changing over the bags. This is fully automated, does everything from pulling the bucket out of its sleeve, going down the conveyor, dropping the fertilizer in and rolling the lid on. So um, it's gonna be a lot less taxing on the body. Hopefully, like I said, ramp up production three to four times and really just really have a lot of fun with it, to be honest. I'm looking forward to it. It's a lot. There's a lot going on. Big machine for a big company. So we first inquired about this machine winter of last year. No, winter before. I think the idea has been around for at least two years. Uh, initially we had about a 22, 24 week build time. Unfortunately, since then we have quickly learned about delays. Um, so this machine was designed in Australia, assembled and built overseas, brought here deconstructed and then rebuilt to meet Australian standards and Lawn Hub standards. So as you know, we take things very seriously. So the Lawn Hub standards obviously also increased the, um, the wait time. Um, and then we had an expected arrival date of December 6th, 2024. It is now August 1st, 2025. So it's been a while, but it has had, it doesn't look anything like the drawing anymore. <laughs> uh, and it's, there's a lot more going on. We've made a few changes along the way and I, I suspect that this will be build, or this will be build, machine equipment build number one of many to come. So um, obviously we've already got the liquid machine, the bottling machine. Now we've got the bucketing machine. Um, I anticipate that these will either be upgraded in years to come or modified to suit our you know, future production needs. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited, Dylan. Okay. Yeah. Just, uh... oh yeah. Yeah, let's try and get this, these legs up onto the pallet. Nice yep. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, yep, there we go. Yep, yep, yep. I'll just hold this one in. So at the moment, Rose is taking off the machine itself, but here we've got our safety gates. So this was a late inclusion after the fact. Obviously the safety of our team is paramount. So essentially this is going to ensure that people don't get into areas that they are not supposed to and any potential, they call them pinch points where someone's finger, clothing, hair may be able to be injected into the machine and become part of the machine, which is not what we want. So these are the safety gates. You also notice to our left, the amount of production that has been going on. And you'll also learn that this week, the filming of this video this week, 20 kilo BBW, available at all Water Pro stores in South Australia. Not available from Lawn Hub, available from Water Pro in South Australia. I think, yeah, this is all BBW, that's all BBW, that's all BBW, and they're all Trojan. We've got Trojan 10s, Prem, got laid, got some bush out the back. Mate, it's gonna be a huge season. Um, yeah, last year was our biggest, this year's gonna be our biggest again, and um, yeah, a lot of exciting things to come, which 
as you see, we film. So there's already stuff that's been filmed that hasn't been released yet. So you want to stick around for that because we're going to blow people's minds. Uh, and you can see our fertilizer bags, that, that's all Trojan as well. I think at one stage here we had over about 50 or 60 tonne worth of product at one point. So uh, as Rose brings in, uh, these are, will appear to be the hoppers. So this is what's going to catch the fertilizer and drop it down. So this machine has both um, three phase power and air. So quite an efficient machine. Yeah, we got 240 volt here, 10 amp, and then we've got our three phase power unit here. Uh, Rose now is taking off some buckets that we sent up probably 12 months ago that we're getting back. So we've also got a delivery at the moment from our um, bucket manufacturer as well. So um, whilst we've got 18 pallets of this machine, we've also got 20 pallets of buckets also coming in first of the month. Make the use of those accounts, baby. And then we can just hold it. Like if you if you just drop it down, we'll let the fork take the weight. There we go. Hey, all right, all right. See, Adam's smart. Yeah, you work you work at the supermarket yeah. for a long time. This is the bucket separator for the five litre buckets. I think is that the litter? I think that's the litter. Yeah, that's the litter because it rolls the lid on and I think this is the this is for the five litre bucket separator. Hello. Your um your machine finally made it, Jesse. What do you think? I just thought this day would never come. How many cartons of alcohol did you win from Clint so far about this machine? Well I got one yeah, one. one. So he's one he's I got one at Christmas. Yeah. So this machine's been a long time in the making. Who knows, Jesse? Well I just thought it wasn't gonna be my lifetime. Wow. Well, you heard it first here, folks. Yeah, it doesn't believe. <laughs> well, you get to know I'll be here this month. I was only going by the information I was given. Now, this one looks a little bit heavier, Rose, but hopefully... So this is the work platform, so this allows you to get to the bottom of the bulker bag once you've loaded it, and then it will also allow you to get to the control panel of the unit. I looked at this drawing a lot. Yeah, massive learning curve. Um, and I think it's important that you acknowledge your learnings as well because you don't know everything. You know, you, you, think, you think you know a lot and then turns out you know fuck all. So it's, in, it's important to listen to the, well, this is a life lesson for you. It's important to listen to the engineers rather than the sales team. Just, just make note of that. And here's, a, here's another fun fact. So, and of course when I say it out loud, it makes sense, right? But this machine obviously costs the business a, a sum of money, right? But most transport companies across Australia don't have insurance for the goods that they are carrying rather than insurance for the driver and the, and the, and the truck or, or the vessel in which is being used to transport the goods. Now, that's a thing called marine transit insurance, which we had never heard about. Probably two years ago, 18 months ago, we'd never heard about. So yeah, so that's, an, that's another a cost to get it here, obviously, is marine transit insurance. And whilst it may not be a lot of money, it was another cost that we incurred. So, um, and freight at the moment in Australia is what it is, you know? The cost of living, the cost of fuel, the cost of wages, you know? Everything runs at a cost and you know, I think it's, it's easy for a lot of people sometimes to sit back and go, fuck, that's expensive. They're making so much money when in, in reality, you know, things, the cost of things aren't magical numbers pulled from the sky. Well, for a lot of businesses that is, but you know, the cost to do business isn't cheap in Australia and just another cost that we've you know, learn about in the last 18 months is marine transit insurance. And saying that, we have found a good in marine transit insurance provider. So anyone out there that's looking to have their goods shipped around Australia, hit me up. I, I know, I know a guy and a girl. So, yeah. Business tips with Adam. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's a great question. So Dylan just asked, will this machine pay for itself in due time? Now, depends what depends what you're using as an example. So if you're using money. 
It's going to take a while for this machine to pay off itself. Unlike the liquid machine where we were paying someone to decant our liquids, we now do that on site. So our cost of the machine, of the liquid machine, we got back in a season because of the amount of decanting that we had done. So we were paying a decant fee of somewhere between two and three dollars plus GST per bottle, plus the cost of the bottle, the lid. So we're now buying better for our lids and bottles. We're now buying better with our labels and we don't have to pay a decant fee. So that liquid machine has probably already paid itself off because of the thousands and thousands and thousands of litres that we put through that machine last season. The bucketing machine's a little bit different because at the moment it operates on one person, our current bucketing machine. Two if you want to include the forklift driver, but if the bucketing worker was forklift licensed, it would require one person. It's more than likely that this machine is now going to run two people, but what it is going to save, it's going to save stress on the body, it is going to save stress amongst the team. It means that we're not relying on a, on a couple of individuals to be making fertilizer. This machine can be operated by absolutely anyone within the business. All you need to be able to do is walk and lift up to 10 kilos. That's all you need to be able to do. Whereas before, it was a lot more physical on the body. Like I mentioned before, Jesse would work from seven to 3.30 with a half hour break. And if he worked flat stick, he would make a thousand buckets and you go home at the end of the day and you're wrecked. You do that over the course of a few seasons, and it does, it begins to take a toll on the body. I suppose that unit of measurement, it'll pay itself off the first run, and it's gonna up our production level. So it's gonna pay itself off in that way, rather than a monetary you know, saving to the business. So I suppose there's a few different things to consider when you talk about when this machine will pay itself back. That's my opinion and my views. Clint may have his other opinions and views, but. I think it will be, if not the same, it will be very in line with what we said. So, business tips 2.0 with Adam. Adam. Yeah, look mm. out, two for one. See, I'm, I'm from Gawler, but I... Okay, so we've just taken receivable of our bucketing machine, like we mentioned earlier on in the video. It's been a long time coming. It's exciting. Um, today, like I said, it's 1st of August, so it's a Friday. This machine is more than likely going to start being put together and commissioned next week. Um, but it will wrap up this episode of Lawn Hub Legacy. Is that, that what it is, Dylan? Thank you. So Lawn Hub Legacy episode, not sure. I'm not sure how many we've filmed. We have filmed a few. Like I said, there's some stuff to my left, your right, that, uh, that we haven't revealed yet but filmed. So that's going to be exciting. But yes, the next video that you'll see as part of this series will probably be the installation and the commissioning. That's the word commissioning of this machine so if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe and if you like this type of content make sure that you stick around because we're going we're going to the moon baby is that what they say dylan is, is that what they say all right anyway i'm about to cook a barbecue so i'll see you in the next one see ya